I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, where it rains. Not a little, but a lot. That's why I'm such a big fan of something called umbrella liability insurance. If you're like me, you go through a lot of umbrellas. You lose them, or in a heavy wind they do that flipping thing where they turn inside out. Anyway, they get ruined. Well, fret not any longer. You can get umbrella insurance. How cool is that? So just like auto insurance covers your car and homeowner's insurance covers your house, umbrella insurance covers your umbrella. Wait, what? No? Okay, I'm getting word on something and it looks like my whole umbrella insurance description requires just a slight, a smidge of a correction. Basically, take everything I said about umbrella insurance and forget it. Umbrella liability insurance does not actually insure your umbrella. Apparently, it does something much cooler and, in some would argue, a lot more important. So, I guess if you consider not ruining your finances and being dead broke and in debt for the rest of your life more important than having a good working umbrella, then sure, I guess it's important. So, here's how umbrella liability insurance actually works. The key here is liability. What is liability? It's basically when something goes badly and then being responsible for making it better again. Here's an example. You crash your car into another car. Okay, so your auto insurance will pay to fix up your car and the car you hit. That makes sense. But what if the person you hit got really hurt? Well, they might sue you. Okay, so you hit them with your car, so your auto insurance should cover this, you would think. And guess what? It does. Yay, but not so fast. Here's the problem. So if you get sued for, let's say, $20,000, it's no problem because you have sufficient coverage. Your insurance company is going to pay out that $20,000. Or even if you got sued for $250,000, the insurance company is going to pay all the way up to the limit. And in this case, again, it's $250,000. Okay. Well, what happens if you get sued for more? Let's say you get sued for a million dollars. Well, that's no problem. You tell the person suing you that your insurance company is only going to pay $250,000 and then they reduce the lawsuit against you down to $250,000. It's so sweet of them. And that's a total fantasy land. Ain't going to happen. Here's what would happen. Your auto insurance company pays them $250,000. And then you become responsible for paying them the remaining $750,000. Yep. You work decades earning, saving, and making really smart decisions. And then, because you decide you need a gallon of milk from the store, you lose it all in the blink of an eye. Enter umbrella, or sometimes called personal liability insurance. It's super cheap, about $250 a year for a million dollars of coverage. So here's how an actual umbrella liability policy works in action. So you already have liability insurance. Congratulations. You have it on your auto policy and you also have it on your homeowner's policy. But they each have limits. In this example, it's $250,000 on your auto, $500,000 on your homeowner policy. But again, what happens if you get sued for more than that? In this case, you're going to have to come out of pocket, which means you might have to sell stocks, bonds. You might actually have part of your paycheck taken away from you in order to pay this lawsuit off. So that, my friends, is a financial nightmare. So how can we protect ourselves? Well, the answer is umbrella liability insurance. And this is what it looks like. It sits over and above your auto policy and your homeowner's policy. The nice thing is, if you get sued for more than what your auto limit is or your homeowner limit, that's cool. It's all right because your umbrella policy picks up the difference. Now, I normally don't like telling people what to do. All right, who am I kidding? I love telling people what to do, but I'm usually a little bit better at resisting the temptation. But here, I cannot resist. You absolutely must have an umbrella liability policy. Must, must, must. I'm begging you. This is one of those financial no-brainers. 
Call the insurance company where you have your auto or your homeowner's insurance and tell them you want to add this. All right, but I'm sure you're thinking, how much? The minimum is a million dollars. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's only $250 a year in premium. And if someone sues you, there's a good chance it'll be for a lot. If you have significant assets, get more. I have many clients with $20 million umbrella liability policies. So why are you still watching this? Stop the video, call your auto or homeowner's insurance and get this umbrella liability policy now.